Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, shoot the ball, ladies, Hollywood show up here. I'm about to give you another Mortal Kombat X video. And in this video, we do the Combat Pack number four, which is 20% off for 120 soul points. Contains one gold character plus two other cards. So we're going to buy our fourth pack, and inside we receive... A special attack levels up a special two on a gold tier character. Our second card is a Appendages, which is a 3% health boost for Devorah. And our gold card is an Assassin Katana, which is one of the combat pack exclusives. Ambushes opponents on tag in with vicious stabs causing bleed. Katana also generates 20% more power. 1,250 damage, 950 health. So that is an amazing card. One of the highest offensive cards in the game. So we're going to go into our collection. And as we see, Assassin Katana, 850 toughness, 1,100 recovery, 120% power gen, but if we give her the Dragon Essence, now 125%. So we're going to go goof around in battle tower number 5. We're going to do one fight with Katana. We're also going to put in Ermac for shits and giggles. So in the first fight, we have Johnny Cage, Lin Kuei, and Cassie Cage. All cards are 10, 11, and 10. So we're going to do a couple tests here. We're going to test out first how much damage Katana can do with her level 1 move at level 1. And then we're also going to test out... Ermac and see how much he actually gains from sacrificing the top. So at level 1, that stabs for about 150, 175 with a small boost opponent and the uplift hits for 500. Really good for a level 1 card. Lin Kuei comes in. Uplift is going to connect. Hits for 500. Almost wipes out Lin Kuei. We're going to go up the Force Lift on Ermac. 404 damage. Cassie Cage comes in. Assassin Katana comes back in. Johnny Cage with a Ball Breaker for 392. Because we're purposely sacrificing Katana. We're in no danger of losing this fight. Johnny Cage not even doing much damage. He's trying to jab away at Katana. Time. Cassie Cage will get rid of Katana. So we're going to go the Force Lift and see how much more damage it does. Outstanding. It's for 604, so about a 200 damage increase. Ball Breaker blocked for 158. And Cassie Cage is eradicated for the victory in the first test fight. 2,500 XP, 100 combat coins, so Katana only gains one level to two. So in the second battle, we have Saryan Trooper and Kung Jin. We're actually going to bow out of this fight, and we're going to do an attack test with Katana. Basically, I want to see if adding basic damage increases the tag in damage as well. This is our next test. I actually did a test in a previous Silver Booster pack where Ermac gained a ton of stats, sacrificing sub zero. So stab's now hitting for 30 and 60. We're going to quit out of this fight on purpose. And we're going to go back to Katana. You saw the, the stab damage for 30 and 60. Katana. So we're going to equip gear that gives basic damage. I forget which one that is. That's crit chance boost. Ice Dagger's 30% basic damage boost. So we're going to leave this roster the way it is. And we're going to see if that tag in also increases damage. If adding basic damage gear will increase the tag in damage or not.
fight. So it does, basic damage does increase the tagging bonus as you drop right from 30 to 39. Then the uplift puts Sarian at one health. Trooper comes in. And we're gonna bounce out again on purpose. So we're gonna put in Silver Scorpion if he's capable of going. Scorpion. And the reason for that is 15% attack for martial artist teammates. That's not the passive we need. We need something that'll increase attack for I believe it's outworld characters. That's five percent health. Thought we had one, maybe we don't. Our tech does have 5% attacks. I guess we're going to have to stick with that. That means you don't have all the passes. Mango Kano has a personal boost. So we're going to do a quick test on this and see if adding attack also increases the tag damage. As we went from 30 to 39, so basic damage does increase the tag and damage as well. That's some good information. Because being able to do 200 damage on the staff for tagging at 350, that does increase it to 41. So adding attack and basic damage will improve the staff damage considerably. And it could be some amazing information. We're going to go up here on Kung Jin. Pretty much wipes him out. Sonya Blade comes back in. We're going to get rid of Kung Jin. Sarian comes in. Sarian gets wiped out. Trooper comes in. We're gonna go off the arc kick on Trooper. Superb. And that is enough to wipe Trooper out for the victory in the test fight. 3,000 XP, 150 combat coins. So if you like the combat pack number four, getting our first Assassin Katana. And we're gonna check in the store and see if you can buy Assassin Katana outright once you own one. And it is still, unfortunately, a combat pack exclusive. So even if you own the card, you cannot promote Assassin Katana without getting cards from the combat pack. So if you like this video on the combat pack number four, getting Assassin Katana for the first time, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Mortal Kombat X videos, my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood channel. And have a wonderful day, kids. Subscribe, bitches!